Dear colleagues, I am starting today a new project. All mass media are filled with overwhelming amount of unnecessary, relevant, and often falsified information. I think it's really important to clinicians to develop the skill to read articles, understand, analyze, and draw conclusions. Critical thinking are so important for us, especially today. This may be useful to you. So today we are starting and I will present you my own article. Next time I will take an article of World Noble and an Artist. And I'm sure that it will help you in situation around us with very prominent marketing pressure. We're starting. Okay, some prehistory. I was intending to the lecture about the new material, name NH plus bioceramic sealer. First of all, we know the right name is calcium silicate sealer or tree calcium silicate sealer. And the funny story is the name H plus bioceramic sealer because H plus we know it's epoxy sealer. I think it's just issue of marketing, but that nice. Okay, and little by little, I see the properties of this new material and the question arises. First of all, uh, we know the uh, one of the problem, one of the problem of uh, three calcium silicate sealer is a very high solubility that not uh, up to you know the ESO because in the ESO we don't want that solubility will be then one uh, maximum two percent. And here we see the solubility from three to 20, 23 percent, depend of different material in different type of leakage. Uh, why we know? Because during the setting, we have uh, calcium hydroxide inside, and calcium hydroxide gives many positive, but some negative properties like high solubility. Here in this new material, companies show us that solubility of this new material 0.11%. Excuse me. The lowest solubility is epoxy silver, like H, plus, around 0 0.2. And this is less than H, plus, epoxy. Wow, interesting. And I continue to see, to see other points and additional points. Again, very interesting. Fast set, fast and predictable set time of two to four hours. Wow. What we know from the literature, that final setting may be not 10 hours, maybe 168 hours. And you will have a lower pH, some inflammation. Maybe the material will... Not sad. Interesting why he will have so predictable and very, very fast setting. Next point of finding. Company is so glad to show to clinician that material have better radio opacity, 25% more radio opacity than and the sequence by ceramic sealer. Excuse me. Why clinician need radio opacity of sealer? We need it to check what we did to see if our obturation is good or maybe we have some deficiencies, some weights inside, and we will improve it. But if you have a very radiopaque material, everything will be very good on all type of my obturation, but I will never know about the real quality of the obturation. And final point is retrievability. No problem to re do removal of this material with nitrate files. Again, we have here the building cement. After this building cement will set in a thick layer, by the way, it's impossible to use solvent. Solvent will not work, we know it's from literature. The own possibility, only possibility is to use ultrasonic tips with microscope. In ultrasonic, I can clean the wall from this hard cement in straight part of the canal. After the curve, I can't do it. And this is one of the problems of this sealer. And here, suddenly, everything is good. It was so strange to hear about this positive feature of this new bioceramic sealer. Then I was back to my department, and I asked my postgraduate student to do some preliminary work to compare the composition of classical sealer from this group, like Chotelfield on... BC and the sequence and versus this new one 
H plus by rabbit. And now we will do it together. It's very, very funny. All these data are in the internet, by the way, you can have it. By the way, not all company give us the composition. By this company, yes, they did it. Thank you. First of all, we see that in and the sequence BC is the same in Europe name total fill. We can see tricalcium silicate from 20 to 35 and decalcium silicate from 7 to 50 percent. We understand that the name calcium silicate material from this composition, this chemistry give all properties. What about this material in the second? In 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 the second material, sorry. In the second material, you see just the calcium silicate from five to fifteen percent, and no decalcium silicate at all. You see real change. Okay, much smaller amount of the most important chemical composition of the silver. What about zirconium dioxide? Zirconium dioxide give a radio opacity, and suddenly understand why the new material will much more radio pack. If in end of sequence BC, you see it's from 35 to 45%. In H plus bioceramic from 50 to 75% of material that not part of chemical reactions, just radio pacifier. Amazing. And I, I, I decided in this point to do research. I decided to try to check if these changes in composition can influence physical properties of material. And we started with some pilot project. Uh, my students took free tests, prepared on the same main of the canal, put single cone with H plus, with BC, and with and the sequence, and with H plus by ceramic for one week. And we checked it by pull out, okay? And you can see now, very interesting result. Now we try to pull out it, yes, H. And we try and we try and we try and suddenly, oops, it's torn inside. Why? We know H plus have a mechanism of adhesion that will withstand with pulling out. Okay, what about the second group? And the sequence BC. We know that mechanism is totally different here. No adhesion, but we have some expansion. This expansion will prevent or try to prevent pulling out of gutta percha. Okay, this was the reason why uh, uh, we tried to to see some uh, some uh, uh, methods to uh, to do evaluation of uh, withstanding of pulling out. And the third group, new material. Please see it. New sealer H plus by ceramic. Please the name of company. And we try to pull out. And we try to pull out and oops, and we understand that we have an issue. And we have here possibility to research. But of course, in the research, we can't do it, pull out test by hand. We need machine. Okay, and we need non-one test. And we did it. We did four group. Why four group? It was my additional idea. We know that uh, the most uh, researched uh, epoxy sealer is H plus. From 2018, we see in literature the name is gold standard of endodontics, important. A very interesting epoxy sealer on the market also, it's BGM root canal sealer. Here, it's not just epoxy sealer, it's also macromolecule biosafe inside. The idea was that this macromolecule can prevent biofilm in growth if in the future we can have a problem of coronal seal. And company, put inside from uh, 1.6 to 3.3 percent on the weight of macromolecule. Again, it's not huge difference in composition, but it's some difference in composition. It was interesting for me to check also this specific sealer with changed composition. And we check four groups with different sealer, 10 twos per group. Uh, we took the striped root, we cut uh, crown, we prepare it in the same manner to the same length and with them with the canal, we put inside single cone and give it in 37 degree, uh, one week to wait to full setting of this sealer, important. And this machine did it in the same manner, in the same speed and with increasing little by little forces trying to pull out the good aperture. 
By the way, also we had here control group, important. Control group was the choose with canal and the temperature inside without the sitter. Because the idea was that maybe during pull, pulling out, you know, some contact between good approach and dentin also can have a place in prevention of pulling out, but it was zero. It was just get it out. Okay, I can show you the final result. Um, uh, and we can see that H plus BGM and total fill have a statistically significant difference with group of H plus Arabic in prevention of pulling out of good aperture. It's very important, okay? Also, it's interesting to see that BGM is like H plus, maybe a little bit better, but again, not statistically significant. And both of them a little bit better than total field, but again, not statistically significantly. We understand that if we have a huge group of 100, 200 teeth, maybe we can show that this difference can statistical significance, but not now. But what is what's interesting in our research, we check also if the good aperture was removed or ruptured inside. What's interesting that all H plus by ceramic good aperture was removed. Five was removed in group of total fill and two and three in group of H plus and BGM. What's interesting is that it was different inside of the group. Why? We don't know exactly, but we can hypothesize this issue. For example, we have a free possible explanation why we have difference inside of the same group. One of them that we didn't check the uh, cross-section of the canal. Some of the canal round, some of the canal oval, and it can, uh, it can create an even thickness of the cedar, one explanation. Second explanation, I have no idea about exact age group that these were extracted. And we know that different ages, different dentin composition, different mineral content, different uh, quantity and diameter of dentinal tubules. The cat influence the story of filler adhesion or contact with the dentin. And the last possibility is possible influence of the uh, content of the canal. We, we didn't have a exact diagnosis of the teeth before extraction. Maybe part of them were vital and with the time some pulp was just uh, necrotic, but maybe part of them were infected. And maybe biofilm, we know that biofilm can influence the story of contact of cedar and the dentin and maybe influence directly this cedar. We have no idea but maybe it's one of the explanation of the difference in the same group, okay? Our final conclusion was in this story that addition from 1.6 to 3.3% of the weight of macromolecule to epoxy sealer does not change material ability to withstand the pull out test, important. The second, the current result demonstrate that decreasing the volume of three and decalcium silicate compound combined with increasing amount of zirconium oxide in bioceramic sealer significantly decrease the material ability to withstand pull out test. We understand that in real life, no situation like pull out test, but it was a way to show the change in composition really can change physical property of material. And Nobody know if it will influence clinical results. And I think it's important not to use material without good clinical research and follow-ups because we can have a very unpleasant situation. By the way, it's not just the opinion on my group. Also, Josette Camilleri did a very important review that in this review, she showed us that it's rapid increase in material identifying as bioceramic on the market. This material have diverse chemistry and some of the constitutes are not declared. This may affect clinical performance of this material. It's the same idea. And recommendation of Josette, very important too. It's important to use reputable material that have been adequately researched in clinical practice. It's so important. I hope this article analysis was interesting for you. Please leave your comments. I must see if my project interests me.
Have a nice day.